You know how every anime has that random beach episode that doesn't make any sense? Today is that episode. I'm venturing out of the cave and going back to my brand and building a massive farming village. All to satisfy my need for more packed mud. Hey folks, Whip here and welcome to Empires. Leave a like and please subscribe. With more and more businesses opening up around Gobland, except that one but at least we still have plenty of rocks to munch on uh i mean sell sell i sell the rocks more and more goblins are traveling around the world to move into the cavern so i spent some time building new homes to the goblins to live in around the edge of the cavern eventually i do want to cover the walls of the entire cave with village houses like these ones but this will happen as the population grows more and more for now we've got a bunch of houses up here and it's looking really cool with plenty little pathways to reach up to all of the doors even being a secret entrance step extremely secret to the path to animalia next up we need to deal with these guys so not only do we have that guy and the nitwit by the fire the traps have been working great we have four zombie villagers out here unfortunately a nitwit and inside of here another fifth zombie villager come with me my friend very important place for you to be now please do not look at your co-worker i got you a friend buddy and you need a name we need to name the villagers. Any ideas? One slight teeny tiny problem. I have no apples. Oh, what's this? Hot bod god has given us a gift. All is forgiven. Oh, good, 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 good. Even more gold. Wait, why is there a 31 and what? Apples. Oh, we have some. Yes, 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 yes. There's one. Now for the other three that I can actually use because nitwit. Oh, four. Wait, there's one over there too. I would like to add on more butcher villagers because right now my best source of emeralds is this guy. Why is this trade locked? Why is your trade locked? There's a butcher station right there. Moving on, I thought we could hide a bunch of butcher villagers back here in the side of the cave. We're gonna need some smokers, cobble deep slate, jungle planks, and some trapdoors. Putting the smokers back here, all of the villagers standing right in the front of them. This should do for the villager trading hall for now. We'll expand it as we go and need to. But maybe we save a little bit of wood and give them tiny spaces to talk with each other. Ought to be great. Now for the fun time of I just need to move all of the villagers. Oh, don't fall down. Oh no, oh don't. I hate everything. I hate everything. It's right in here, please. Good, sir. You, there you go. Yeah. They went in the boat. Yes. Okay. Actual villager, come with me. Villagers are all in place and it's very dangerous in here right now. Oh, I oh, hate it. If I throw the potion right there. Bam. 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 Get outside because they do more damage if they're curing. Bam. Next, I want to grab some glass and a bunch of soulfire campfires. This is where we get real goblin stonks. That's my nose, sorry. Jumping into the nether, where we did move all of our portals up to the top so it's easier to get around. And this one's mine. But I would like to get rid of all of this soul sand and replace it with soul fire campfires. This way, the hogland farm will now produce raw pork instead of cooked pork. Good morning, goblins. Welcome home, everybody. Oh, you're all looking quite beautiful today. Let's just block that up. We'll start with you. Come on, in there. Yes, yes. Pork, there we go. Oh, I love him. Oh, I'm so sorry. No, oh, that's more expensive already. And much better. Look at this. We've got so many butcher villagers in here now. He won't take a job, but we got three ready to go and we can make so many emeralds. And this guy, for some reason, really wants to be a fisherman. Where do you even get the barrel from? I don't know. You can think about your decision about how you want to be a cleric. I'll be back later. Wood, wood here, wood here. Wood? Yes. Oh boy. What, what'd you bring today? What'd you bring for me today? Okay, here you go. So I got wood, but guess what? I also gonna give you some of my bush, okay? Oh. Yep. Mangrove Take leaves, mangrove roots. Oh, oh, so good. Yeah, my inventory is completely full right now. Oh, good. I... Now take all this too from the floor. Yes, I got so much extra bush. Yeah, if you just want to put all the mangrove leaves in there and then the one right above, that's fine. That, that'd be great. Oh, I would perfect. help, but I Your have hands are full. Oh, don't so worry. much stuff. Don't you worry about it. I, I, I trimmed this bush just now, and you know what? My hoe is almost dead from it, so you get all my trimmed bush. 
What's so funny? <laughs> Nothing. I appreciate it. Thank you. I appreciate all your hard work. Oh, you're welcome. Oh, and then, then all oh, the, the, the flimsy wood can come over here. Yeah, th this guy right there. The one at the bottom. I have a few of these rocks. I'm going to just take like two of those. Okay. Yep. That sounds good to me. Oh, there's another birthday cake. Oh, I think it's from Anna Maley, our neighbor. Oh, thank you, Lizzie. Uh, what is that? I don't like it. I don't like it. It's just going to go over here. Yeah, but moving on, as I can't keep stealing wheat from all my neighbors. Any pickle sales? No pickle sales. Goblin needs to be more self-sufficient and grow our own mud packaging materials. So today I want to build a giant village outside with the wheat fields covering this entire hill. Just kidding, I can definitely keep harvesting people's wheat fields. Perfect for the taking. The goblin field inspection is now complete and I've fixed so many dirt patches. Right, now we just need to replant all the wheat and we'll let Scott know that his field has passed inspection. Field inspection has been completed, so we gotta leave a sign. 17 broken farmland found, no payment required for services. We'll let him off the hook this time. Can't believe I have to go around fixing everybody's farmland all over the server. Look at all this wheat I'm gonna have to dispose of. Well, this is new. Is a toy shop? Who built this? Stock's pretty low over here. <gasps> the sheriff, two diamonds each? Missing toy, please return. The sheriff's not a toy, but he is our fearless leader. I need diamonds. So nobody else can make fun of our fearless leader. I must buy them all. I am two diamonds short, but there's a bulk discount, right? If you buy them all, there's a bulk discount. Oh, leader. Back to the task at hand though for now. We must keep these safe. It's really so nobody else can have them. Nobody gets to think he's a toy. The shrine will have to come later as I need to plant my wheat fields to work towards creating more packed mud. Starting by laying out some buildings for a storage somewhere right up here. And some dwellings around here. And lastly, a mill for all of the wheat. From here, we can continue some pathways going up and create the borders of some gigantic fields. This should do for the first one, but I wanna go big. So I added in another four field borders. Next, I'm gonna need a ton of buckets. There's always buckets in the super smelter. Next comes the fun part where I need to turn all of this into farmland. I think the two largest ones are done, but with the elevation, oh, they're taking forever. Three more to go. I mean, come on, what would a FWIP series be if I didn't build at least one massive wheat field? But also while building this one, Joel stopped by and asked me to go to Tumbletown with him. Y'all gotta see this. No, no! Oh How is this even worse? Don't you? Wait, guys, 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 Look at the guy. Look at the no. guy. Screenshot for Twitter what is this? This is vanilla Minecraft. How has this even happened? No, oh. my God. Oh, my God. I needed to see Boy. this for myself. <laughs> guys, it's not. Guys, I'm the law. You're, you're not straight. No, you guys. are the law. Right yeah, you are. But you're supposed to be so small. You're right. You're very oh. big. Oh, look. Oh, you're no. so big. No. You're so, so big. Tired. Wait, am I actually stuck it's like this? It's because you were lying to us all before by being normal height when you're actually <laughs> tiny as you're a tiny. No, you look, can't wait, do wait, this, Wait, wait, let's compare. Joel. Let's compare. Oh, That's actually no. bigger than you. No. That's actually no. bigger than you. This is crazy. <laughs> this is not nice. No. <laughs> No. <laughs> Wait, how did you even do that? I don't understand. Uh, what did you do? Who have you been working with? I can do what I want, Jimmy. You are messing with the wrong person, by the way. No, I'm messing with the right person. You can't just throw authority down, all right, and think that everyone's going to follow you. I'm taking well, you down. <laughs> Why are you looking at my knees? Why are you looking at his No, <laughs> stop! <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> right, you're 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 Joel, make me big, no, please. No. Joel, oh, make me big. 
flip your way number two. What are you doing? I, tried to, I you didn't doing? do it. I'm trying to help you out here. You, you, you came for the picture. What are you on about? I've got the what apple of lying. This, When you eat this, you'll be lying to us all again by being not a toy and tall or whatever. Apple well, still a toy, but you're tall. Try eating what? that. This will make me yeah. tall, but I'm not lying. I am tall. I'm not. I'm tall. Yeah, I'm no, tall. Okay, yeah, well, eat that apple and we'll see if it works. Lying. All right, let me just see. Let me just... Oh, ah! look at that. So now you're Wait. back to lying again. Oh, yeah, size, you're normal you size. Are... Joel, never do that yeah, can you, ever put him little. again. Jimmy, why do you keep intimidating me? Because I will not Ow! take oh, it. Ow! Ow! Yeah, Please don't. Exactly. No. It's a good thing the sheriff is back to his proper size. Because how else can we uphold the law if he's tiny? But it's time to grab some pork as it is time to give Ollie his rations for the week. Boy, oh, Bart man. Here he comes, my little, my little food man. Oh, if only a man could bring me just a portion of gruel, I might survive another day in this Let cave. Me, I'm, I'm up here. Let me, okay, Ollie, you get, you get your pork. You get your pork. There's your, oh, your daily oh, pork. I'm opening my mouth wide like a baby bird. There, there you, you go. You got your pork Thank for the day. Gonna... And I, I have some oh. questions for you for some bonus pork. Ollie. Do you know? Do you know why you're here? Not, not really. No, you, 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 you made me fall in a hole, and then I was in a cage. You went into an ancient city, and you took a bunch of stuff, didn't you? Uh, took yeah, some I, stuff from an yeah, ancient city yeah, and I left did, some signs. Yeah, I, did, I did that, but it was, it was fair game. This is my, this was my place. I, this is my I cave. I found it. No one. This is my you, cave. You, you took weren't my here. Cave. That's my Nobody city. Nobody was here when I went into the deep dark. I was the first one. There was a big portal, and it was just, it was just me. Yeah, I if ran you, the town right here. I'll give you extra pork if you admit you took stuff from the cave. Yeah, I took stuff from the cave. I took stuff from the cave. Okay, here, have some extra pork. Oh, oh, oh. There you go. Okay, you know what? Thank you for admitting no, it. I'm gonna no, go get no. the sheriff. I'll be back. Could, could you bring me something to do? Is there anybody so many times I can blow this horn? Yeah, maybe, maybe you don't do that. I mean, it's getting a little noisy over here. A little noisy. Thank, thank you so much mm -hmm, mm -hmm. For, for this. For the village, I want to make it feel like Gobland, but something that can also survive the harsh weather outside, as I keep hearing thunderstorms. Starting off by leveling the train for the village itself, so we have more of a foundation to build on. So that our goblin villagers feel safe out here and uh, that it's like home, we've got to add some deep slate for the floors and maybe work it into some of the pathways around the village. But I guess we do need some houses for them to live in, so maybe we do that before we start decorating everything. Just some small little yurt style huts and then we can add a little bit of an awning so that they don't have very much sun on the house. And something like this, I think will work to get us started. Yeah, why not? Definitely need to go get some lanterns so we can decorate it a little bit better. But I think there's a lot of opportunity here just to add some extra detail bits to help it feel more supported. Yep, that'll do for the first goblin house. Let's get the rest in. Second house is coming along here as well, where I lowered the floor down to keep the goblins closer to the earth. And I'm thinking here on the front, so it's not just the same as that guy. We bring a little bit of spruce and just fill in some oak around here for a door frame. And as the village isn't meant to be the fanciest, I'm okay with just using the same mangrove planks for the roof. But that doesn't mean we can't add a little goblin wonk, right? Like this. Then the backside will still be made out of mud and we can throw a few windows in. And something like this should work out for the second house. We're just gonna need to really bring the cave atmosphere out here. Ah, I forgot these things were in the game. What trays do you have? What you have? Where is he? Where is he? He's right there. Gold. Oh, he's got gold. He's got diamond. He's got iron. Raw gold, raw gold. No. Okay, we have to go get gold. I'll be back. And we made it. Okay, gold block. Jungle plank, diamond, smithing tables, iron blocks, and stone, and stone. Wait, wait, fire coral block. Thank you, good sir. Oh, it was great seeing you. Come back sometime soon. Now I know someone stole the gold from Stratos. Whoop, this is dangerous. Why is this more dangerous now? Weren't there slabs there? Never coming back here again. I might not have the Stratos gold, but we can help. Everybody needs good neighbors. No. <laughs> Hi, boy. Hi. 
funny running into you here. Everything okay? I don't suppose you happened to see a huge pile of belongings anywhere, did you? Oh, yeah, here, I, I, I found these ones. Here, you might oh, want that one. Uh, thank you, thank you. There's, I think that's all yours. Oh, thank you very much, yes. yeah. Yeah. Say, what, what were you doing up there? Oh, I just got mini blocks of gold, so I was adding a mini gold block to the stratosphere. You were, you were adding? To his stratosphere? Yeah, I got these guys, so I was going to put one right in the center. Oh, that's really kind of you. Yeah, why? I was just, <laughs> what I were was you just... doing up there? Well, nothing. No? Nothing? I was just a little curious, that's all. Oh, okay. Just. <laughs> it did kill a... me in the end. Yeah. You know, why would you a... build a hole in a bridge like that? What's wrong with him? <laughs> he almost fell off too. I was just saying that. <laughs> this is more unsafe than the Goblin Empire, and I have oh, died definitely. many times in Safety both. is not the Stratos number one priority here. <sighs> Not at all. Well, I'd better be on my way. I'm supposed to be meeting the Queen Bee and I can't be late. Goodbye. Oh, yep, have fun. Back to the regular scheduled village house building and things are coming along quite well at the third. We've got a little outdoor workstation, got some campfires in here and apparently Llama's living inside the house. Now I just need to finish off the roof. And I think that's an appropriate level of wonkiness. Next, to save a little bit of the cobble deep slide in here. And to lighten things up, let's bring in some regular deep slide. The road network has been expanded throughout the village. And look at this. We've got our first farmer goblin. I've also started adding a little bit more of the cave decoration around. So we've got a lot of the warp roots in as well as some dripstone spikies and i want to add in a few more just to make sure the goblins feel like they're at home now here however is gonna be the mill so i want to take some oak and some birch on top strip it all down and right in here we've got a little bit of the milling structure itself so all of the grain and everything could go in there i've got a redstone torch below powering the piston and we will hook up a bore to this for the front entrance, we can use some spruce right here and just create a really simple awning. From here, we'll throw some acacia on for the roof itself. A little bit of a flatter top, I think. And to make this thing a little weird, why not? Some weird roof toppers. For the inside, I want to bring in some spruce just to hide the acacia roofing. This way, the inside feels a little different. And the village is starting to really feel like a fun place to hang out in. I'm liking this. But it's time to get a boar to work in the mill. Grabbing the third of the boar siblings. Come on, buddy. There you go. I've got a very important job for you. I need to walk him all the way over to the new village. We need lots and lots of hay. So you need to work in the mill and make sure that we can produce a bunch of it, okay? Thank you. With just a few buildings remaining, I got to work finishing those up, including another village hut, along with a cold storage room buried in the earth to keep the harvest safe for longer. Lore, 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 Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. We're just building a village here, right? We did it by ourselves. No, this isn't a lore village. We built this by hand. Now, Pickle Road isn't the best currently right now, being all path blocks and the bridge is well rather dangerous because you can fall off before we gather a bunch of deep slate to repair the road i want to get the bridge fixed up and i think it might be best just to start fresh and i'll just do it to there then we'll bring the land forward it'll it'll be fine Something like this is gonna do a lot better, but as a final touch, bring some of the trap doors in and some extra roots down below for just a little bit more of the support. Extending around the side too, so we get a little bit of a larger railing to keep the mobs out. And up here, there's no way to fall off unless you actively jump over and down because safety is the number one priority of Gobland. And I know Lizzie watch, walks on this bridge a lot, so we have to make sure there's absolutely no way to kill yourself falling off of it. But next up, I need a ton of deep slate to finish building the road. Sixteen diamonds richer and a sugar box pretty full of deep slate. With that, it's time to update the road. So we're gonna get rid of all of the slabs, put in the deep slate ones, and then we can come back and trade out the path blocks. Thankfully, the road isn't actually too long, which I think I can just kind of follow the same pattern that was made previously. A 
all the way back to the entrance to Gobland, and I'll talk to Lizzie eventually and see what she wants to do about this road, but I don't want to be invading Animalia with a deep slate path right now, so we'll just leave it. So final step to keep these guys out of here, at least a little bit more, I want to add a few walls with our mangrove roots and some lamps. I'm sure a lot of people are going to be walking through Gobville as they're traveling between the empires, so we want to make sure it's safe so no creepers explode in here, because that would be awkward. The northern entrance isn't all that great right now, but I think we leave it as it only goes down to the pier to get over to Catherine's. But there we have it. Gobville is finally finished up and ready to go for all of the wheat gathering needs I'm going to have throughout this entire series. I'm going to have so much packed mud to work with. It's going to be great. Pickle Path is now completely updated and I need to head to spawn. As our fearless leader, the sheriff has left a very important book for all of the people to collect at spawn. This must be it, the chest of the law. Please respect and follow the law from the sheriff, our leader, the law. Now that we have the book of the law, I need to build a place to protect it as there are some law breakers on the server and I need to make sure at least one book survives. And for this, I'm gonna need TNT, which means gunpowder. Maybe there's some in the farm. Yes! I mean, he did say I could take as much as I needed, and I am the deputy number two. I mean, I've even got my own deputy outfit to show off my badge and everything. We need a secret cave where no one will be able to find the book of the law. So I brought myself to a very secret location where no one will find it. And we can just blow up in a little cave right here. Please don't kill me. Ah! Okay, maybe a little larger. Yeah, this'll do. There we go. Now just to transform this into a beautiful place to worship the law. <clears throat> I, I, I mean, respect the law. Respect the law. I've carved out the chamber a lot further and it's looking grand in here. Filling in the waters of respect. And that should do it. Next, we need the watchers of the law. Our fearless sheriff. I've replaced all the torches with candles and I've been working on the mood lighting throughout here. I think this is perfect for the law. Ooh, there it is. No one must know. No one must know about the last book of the law. Now back to my regular goblin activities where I'm definitely not suspicious at all. I just need mud, lots of mud. And I got this gold from somewhere, but nowhere. It just appeared in my hand. I don't know what to tell you. And it's not the stratosphere. Now that we are in the swamp, I should probably find the great witch Shelby and make sure that I can take some mud before I start doing it. Or at least ask where to go. Hello. Oh, hello. Your friendly neighborhood goblin. Hi. Hey, do welcome to the Evermore. Oh, I see you have mud, Always. but do you have mud like that I could have mud? Always so much mud. This should start you off. Oh, wow. Thank you. Yes, 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 yes. And come back and take any from the edges. I just wouldn't recommend going in the middle. You might yeah, not make it yeah, I can, I can, I can do that for sure. Oh, this is gonna be so good. Hey, while I have you here, yeah, uh, I'm making some plans. I found in my book a way to spawn a really big, powerful monster, kind of really dangerous. But if we can manage to kill him, and I've already got sausage ready to fight him too, mm -hmm. we can all get a really powerful item, basically a star out of the sky. You know, I'm pretty professional at fighting big monsters, so I got you. Really? Let's do it. Oh, that's perfect then. I think we got a good squad. <laughs> okay, well, I'm going to go get some mud. You let me know when we're going to go yeah. fight the thing. Okay, we'll get the squad together soon. Back home, plenty of mud ready to go here, which we can add to the storage. Between this... And this. Oh, we can build so much stuff. The battle squad is meeting up at spawn, though, so I'm gonna go find them and leave my valuables here. I probably need my pork. Oh, we're right. here. Who's ready to fight a wither? Oh, of me, course, me, me. we're ready to fight the withers. <gasps> Whoa, Gather's here. Oh, oh my. Hello. Wow. Like a monster slayer? <gasps> Oh, yes. Y yeah. You yeah. look amazing. Um, that's a big boy. <gasps> now, very quickly, before we go, wrong. before we go, please make sure everybody yeah. has taken a book of the law. Take a book of the I law know. with you. I took one. I'll read it later. It's amazing. <laughs> yeah, oh, I'll totally well, read it later, too. It's a good good book. Very good book. Killing All right. Things. Well, this is the squad for killing withers. Uh, because there are four of us, we will be fighting four withers. But we each woo, get a star. Woo. 
We're gonna want to go pretty well deep time. underground. Huh? Let's go find the hole. The wither. Woo! Ah, I'm falling. Yep, we're the down here. Yep, oh, definitely oh, this oh, way. Oh, I know where we're oh, going. Right we're here. We're going this yep. way. Oh yeah. There's I a didn't... big. Yep, right here. Yeah, look at this. Oh. Oh come on. Kevin, go, go scout what? it out. Oh. I'm gonna scout. I'm gonna scout. We're fine. We're good. There's nothing here. Oh, bad guy. Oh, there's something here. Bad guy, scary, Catherine. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Oh, I have the gift for everyone. I'm gonna be a little bit of a healer in case anyone needs me to throw. Everyone take a strength potion. Oh, perfect. The healer. Give it a little sip before maybe the meleeing part. One, <gasps> two, I'm eating it. Wait, three. I'm eating. Ah! Get out of there, sausage. I did not bring fire as a Oh, he's flying. Why is he oh my fire? god. He's targeting sausage. Why is he attacking fast? You spawned him. You're doing great. That's true. You started his there. suffering. He's going to come down soon. Here, he's oh, down. Go. I'm going to drink this drink. Potion. Go, go, go. I'm smacking you, you stupid. I'm coming with my ass. I think I just yeah. I'm sorry. Oh, we're doing great. He's almost dead. Oh, he's almost dead. He's almost dead. He's dead. Oh, okay. Woo. Woo. Good job. Right, so I got Wait, mine. You guys got this, right? Y'all got this? Um. No. You better Wait. stay here. Oh, a trap. It's a trap. It's a trap. Throw it, Shelby. Take the potion. Use the broom. Get him with the broom. Dead. Yeah. I got it. Everybody ready one. for number three? Face. Ow! Stop me, ugly thing. Yeah. Oh, it's oh, on! We're going! Get away from the lava so it doesn't drop in there! Woo! Woo! Easy! Last one. Oh, no, that again. It's always me. Oh, he was stuck in there for a second. Ow! Oh, good. Come back this way! Ah! Not near the lava! Attack! He's going! Get him! One more! Get him! Okay. Woo ah. So much easier than that warden we did last time. <gasps> <gasps> <laughs> Not what? the monster slayer! I know I didn't die at the very end! Oh, what is this guy? <laughs> oh, no. I got some roses, I got an invulnerable wither head, and another star. Oh, this is a great day. Well, we've done it! Woohoo! Woo! Thank you everybody oh, you for joining me on this fight. Oh, yeah. oh, Till next time. Pleasure. Peace out oh, and bye. good. Goodbye! Bye. Bye. Feels good to put the ears back on. I mean, take them out of a helmet. Yep, they were tucked back behind an invisible helmet of plot armor. But there we go. We've got ourselves another star. Woo-hoo. Well, that's going to do it for today's episode. Please be sure to leave a like down below and please subscribe if you're brand new. And with that, my friends, I'll catch y'all on the flip side.